ago, Mohammed just came recently. Wow, 1400 years ago. Well, 1400 years, yeah. well, that's recently really? compared to Jesus. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. 2000 and 1400. Yeah. So there was a 600 year gap between that. That's, yeah. Okay. So how do you know that people, that Jesus did not bring the message to people and the message that Jesus bring, it's been followed. People are reciting it and showing other people that's what Jesus is. Just like Mohammed, because you were telling me, now Mohammed is not there. Yeah. You were trying to tell me what Mohammed bring because God gave Mohammed, yeah. Mohammed gave to you. Yeah. Does that but, make sense? Yeah, it does, yeah. So, and, and you see the message. Obviously, Jesus came with a message as well. Yeah. And Muhammad Sallallahu came with a message. Right. Moses came with a message. Abraham and all the previous all the prophets, prophets yeah. they had a message to the nation. Uh -huh. And uh, as one of the brothers earlier said that the message that the previous prophets brought, it was basically limited to a particular tribe or a people or a time. But the difference between the message of Muhammad and the message of the previous messengers is that Muhammad his message is universal. I'll give you one very quick reference in order to understand that. For example, in the Old Testament and also in the New Testament, we hear about the oneness of God. Like for example, in Deuteronomy 6.4, it says here, O Israel, your Lord God is one. You see there, whom, whom Moses is addressing here. Here, O Israel. Yes? So not here, O um, America or India or... Yeah, but that, does that, me, that make sense? Let me finish, does, my friend. Does, does that make sense? Let me hear. Let, let me finish. Prophets, okay, sorry. Yeah, let me finish and then... Oh, sorry, sorry, yes, sorry. all the prophets came with a specific message yeah. to their people. Yeah except Muhammad sallam, whose message was universal. You see, in the case of Jesus, Moses is here or Israel. Jesus says, I've not come except for the Lordship of Israel. Not even the whole of Israel, just the Lordship. And then, look at Muhammad sallam. When you read the Quran, you hear him addressing all nations. When he says, Ya ayyuhan nas, hear O people. Not the Arab people or the non-Arab people, but all people, all mankind. And this is what I'm saying. That is the difference between the message of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the previous messengers. However, we acknowledge that those previous messengers like Moses, Jesus, Abraham, so on, these were also the true messengers of God. However, we do not have any anything to substantiate in terms of their message. For example, the Bible we have today, there's a gap of like more than a hundred years in terms of the earliest manuscript we have and the time of Jesus. So within that gap, you got a, a lot of chances of things for things to get corrupted. I understand, but you give me that little that, that little paragraph, that little subject yeah. about what Jesus came and Jesus came for a specific yes. set of people. And the previous and the, messengers. Yeah, and yeah. the previous messengers yeah. and Mohammed come for a, a universal, wide, message. universal messengers. Yeah. But message, yeah. what, what what changes the difference of Jesus came and preached about God. Yeah, they both Mohammed preach. came yes. and preached about God. They both preached about God. What's the difference? Because we only want to get to God. Yes, absolutely. So, so your question with regards to what is this message that they're giving and how do you know God? You see, all these messages, that was their job. To tell the people how to attain salvation by worshipping God in what way, in what form, and what to avoid. Yeah, but all of them did say one God. Yeah, but then look at the time of Jesus Christ after that. We know we got... The message has been corrupted, yeah. No, no, no. People put that. Just like I'm saying to you, I'm talking about Jesus did not come and say that he is God. Right. Other people came and say that Jesus is God. Yes. So, so what is what is the question now? Because in, in, in order to explain to you with regards to the universal message yeah. and the message to specific tribes. The question I'm saying to you, yes. the, the, the thing I'm saying to you, I don't know if it's a question, but what I'm saying to you, I don't see the difference of Jesus, Mohammed, Moses, Esau, all those prophets, I don't see no difference because all Actually, over, overall, you should be a Muslim. All, yeah, <laughs> overall, you're very right. You should be a Muslim. There is a, there is you see, Allah says in the Quran, <laughs> 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 What you just said. No, that's true, that's true. No, no, no. You know what you just said? It's actually mentioned in the Quran. Yeah. Allah says, You should not differentiate between any of the messengers. Because you see, they're all from God Almighty. Their source, their intention and their work and their action was basically for us human beings yes. to come closer to God. <laughs> yeah? Why don't you accept your Shahada now? Yeah. For everybody. Jesus loves it's between you and Allah Azza wa Jal. 
Yeah? Yeah. We become Muslim, Jesus will still love you, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus loves us. Accept the right time. Repeat after me, man. <laughs> no? Brother, okay. I'm, I'm not forcing you. That's fine. That's I'm fine. not forcing you. Maybe the, you see, there's a reason you there's, there's a reason you come at this crossroads every time. Because you see, Allah is giving the opportunity after opportunity. But you see, this one lasts forever. And that's why I'm telling you, do not delay something that is good. Something that is which you already believe and acknowledge to just basically make it formal, make it known. An opportunity has been given to you for so many years. And inshallah, Allah will give you more opportunities. Even if you don't take the shahada today, maybe tomorrow. I'm hoping he will give you that opportunity. And that, what do you say, that courage to take that step. And I think it's, it only requires a bit of courage. <laughs>